separate us from the love of Christ. Yes, we have decided, oh yes, to follow Jesus. We have decided, oh yes, to follow Jesus. Yes, we have decided. Oh yes, to follow Jesus. Oh yes, no turning back. No turning back. Father, we are here to worship you for whom you are. We are here to exalt you because you are God. Can you open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord? Child of God, even if you feel that there is no reason to worship God, worship God because he's God. Worship God because of whom he is. He is the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. Abba, Father, we worship you. We bless your holy name. Be glorified in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. Yes, Lord, what can separate us from you, Lord? Is it tribulation? Is it sickness? Is it trouble? Is it attack? Lord, we have decided to worship you for whom you are. Lord, be glorified in our lives in the name of Jesus. Your word says, your glory you shared with no man. Father, we have come before the throne of grace, before the throne of mercy to seek your face. Lord, let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Our bow, we worship you, we bless you, Lord. A share of days, we glorify you. The lily of the valley, we bless your name. 
because you are God all by yourself. You are that God that does not need the permission of anyone to be God. The Bible says when you say yes, no man can say no. A shout of days, that is the God that we have come to worship. We know the God that call us. We know the God that call us. That God did not call us to fail us. I say as you begin to worship God, let the glory of the Lord be made manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. Let God be glorified. Let God be glorified. Let God be glorified. Let God be glorified in your life and in your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say let God the Lord be glorified. Let God the Lord be exalted. Let God the Lord be magnified in the mighty name of Jesus. Who is like unto you, Lord? Oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, among the gods, oh yes, who is like you? You are faithful, you are just God. You are a mighty God, you are a merciful God. Yes, always doing wonders. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, who is like unto God? If it is not for the Lord who have been on our side, child of God, we will not be consumed by now. Father, we bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. We exalt you because you are God. Be glorified in the name of Jesus. 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 Lord, as we welcome you in this place, as we welcome you in our homes, we are rather, oh God, your people are washing me from. Father, we welcome you in that place, in their home, oh God, in that place of their job on their way home we are rather they are oh god we welcome you 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 in that arena lord we welcome you in that place oh god we welcome you our bar be glorified a shout of days be glorified there i am that i am be glorified lord we Welcome you, a shout of days, the mighty man in battle, the king of glory, the lion of the tribes of Judah. Lord, we know you have prevailed. We welcome you, oh God. We welcome you, oh God. We welcome you, oh God. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you because you are God. You are welcome in our homes. You are welcome in our ministry. You are welcome in the life of our children. You are welcome in our marriages, oh God. In that business, oh God, we welcome you. In that body, oh God, we welcome you. In that environment, oh God, we welcome you. Lord, as you are welcome in that place, anything that is not of your God, we evacuate them in the name of Jesus. I say anything that is not of God that want to settle in that place where you are as the Lord take control as the Lord take over as the Lord is enthroned I say let that be evacuated 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 and let go of Shanda and Radha Lakade Ima Koloba Suta Radha Lakata and Koloba Shanda I say 
Jesus. Amakalabashata. Regadadade. Amarekalabasuta. Arekolabashadada. Iragadada. Makalata. Ikalabasunda liberata. Iyagade legade. Ekolabashadada. Aradadadade. Ikalabashade. Iratolabasuta. Ekolabashadada. Imagadalata. I say what I is not of the law. The water sat on the your home. Let that be evacuated. Let that be evacuated. Let that be evacuated. I say enough is enough. By the fire of the Lord. By the fire of the Lord. Every married spirit. Every spirit husband. Every spiritual spouse. The water sat on the your life. I'm a regabashata. A radadalagabasuta. I'm a eyes are open. I see somebody every night you keep struggling with a strange man. You keep struggling with a strange man. He am your side, the Lord. As the Lord is welcoming your home, and this strange man, and this strange man from the pit of hell, a sight of Satan down in your home. I say, fire of the Lord, let there be evacuated. He madalakata, a radoloba shandada, he got the basuta. Whatsoever you are struggling with, whatsoever you are struggling with, that you don't understand, but you see yourself struggling with a situation that you cannot explain. It. Hear me, I say, yeah, the Lord. I said, the Spirit of the Lord, it is welcoming your home. Every other power, every other power, every other power, every other power, let that begin to run. I say, let that 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 run. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, I lack of a shandalita. Red da 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 makalata. I said darkness cannot comprehend light. Everything that stands as darkness, let it be in your heart. Let it be in your marriage. Let it be in your dreams. Let it be in the place of your job. By the power in the name of Jesus, I shall let the sword of heaven. Let it chase them in the name of Jesus. Can somebody release fire? Amarata, Yagaba Shata. Let the sword of heaven. Let it be released. 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 Against the wicked. I say to Satan down in your home. I don't know why I plan this prayer this way. But I see a satanic assignment of the enemy. They want to settle down in the life of somebody. They want you to adapt to the situation. They want you to adapt to the affliction. They want you to manage the attack. They want you to get used to the affliction. Hear me as I hear the Lord. You are not permitted to get used to affliction. You are not permitted to get used to attack. You are not permitted to get used to the arrows of darkness. I stand upon the word of God. The Bible says that I mention in the name of Jesus that every knee should bow in the name of Yeshua. Any power that want to set on down in your life. That want you to get used to attack. I say by the power in the name of Yeshua. Let them lose their hold. I say let them begin to lose their hold. In the name of Jesus. No, it is an error for you to start managing affliction. It is an error for you to start managing an attack. They want you to get used to that affliction. To a level where you not learn how to manage it. Where you not learn how to manage dryness. Where you not learn how to manage sickness. Where you not learn how to manage poverty. The Lord frustrates the devices of the enemy. Hear me as I hear the Lord. Any power from the pit of hell that wants you to start managing attack. That wants you to start managing affliction. By the power in the blood of Jesus. I shall let the fire of the Lord. Let it chase them in the name of Jesus. Can somebody is fire. I'm a radolegable shanty.
Ghost, we release that fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost. I said fire of the Lord. I said fire of the Lord. You are not permitted to manage affliction. You are not permitted to manage attacks. You are not permitted to manage dryness. By the power in the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Lord, let it abacqua them in the name of Jesus. And Mareka Bashanda Liberata, a Ragolobo Suta, a Kalaga da da da, a Yakalaga da Barata. God is not a joker. As he said, a thing and he did not do it. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is it a son of man that he should repent. In other words, God is not a joker. Your destiny and your life, it is important to God. Your destiny and your glory, it is important to God. I say you are not permitted to start managing affliction. You are not permitted to start managing attack. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Can you quickly go on and share the word? Somebody share the word. Somebody share the word. Can you like that video? Just quickly go on and see that the likes are very down. Can we share the word of God? This is a warfare. And when we are praying prayers like this, the messages, the notification are always hidden. Can you just be a reason why somebody else is being blessed today? Somebody share the word with me. Share the word and share the word. Share the word again. Yes, I see everyone that are sending this cigar. The Lord is blessing that we should have given. Libra Kalata, Yagadada Makalaba Suta. Lord, as we go into this warfare, as we go into this battle, yes, Lord, you lead us and you bring us to a place of victory. To your glory in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever that stands as iniquity, the want to accuse the answers of this prayer. Lord, I pray for mercy. I pray for forgiveness. I pray for mercy. I pray for forgiveness. If there be anyone on that the sound of my voice that is being accused by the prince of Persia, that is being accused by the accusers of the brothers, I say by the blood of Jesus, we plead forgiveness. We plead forgiveness. We plead forgiveness. Let every hindrance let it be removed by the blood of Jesus. I say anything that stands as sin, that want to stand as an hindrance, let it be removed. Moving by the blood of Jesus, I saw the powers of iniquity that will not prevail. I saw the powers of hell that will not prevail in the name of Jesus. A Marata Ligada, a Colobo Shanta, a Rada Ligaba Suta. Lord, let your we alone. Let your we alone. Let your we alone. Let your we alone. Let it be done in the life of this one in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your we alone be done. Let your we alone be done. Abba Father, your we not my way. Yes, Lord, your we not my way. That your glory may be my manifest in the life of this world. Lord, let your we be done. Lord, let your we be done. Lord, let your we be done. A da da da. A kolobo shanta. A raga da basuta. A maragolobo shandalata. I say it is time. It is time for you to say goodbye to anything that stands as dryness. Anywhere you have been expressing dryness, yeah, me say, yeah, the Lord. as the Lord has sent me today, so have I come to deliver. I serve by the power in the name of Jesus. Anywhere you are feeling dry in life, let the rain of heaven, let it begin to pour upon you. I say, let the Lord water your land. Let the Lord water your land. Let the Lord water your land. Let the Lord water your in the name of Jesus, the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, <laughs> declares the Lord. It's a plan to prosper and not the one to harm you. I shall let every harm in your life. Let it be reversed in the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Imarakalabashata, Aragadaparata, Amakalabasundalata. As the will of God is being done in your life, I say you mean the Lord will meet all your needs. He will supply your needs according to his riches in glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, let everything that stands as dryness, let them begin to flee. 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 In the name of Jesus, I say it is goodbye to anything that stands as dryness. Let it be for natural dryness. It is reversed in the name of Jesus. Fruitfulness, dryness. It is reversed in the name of Jesus. Concerning your heart, let that dryness be reversed. Let it be reversed in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Genesis, it said, God has blessed me abundantly, and I am a blessing. I said, The Lord has made you a blessing, and you are a blessing. By the power in the name of Jesus, let everything that stands as dryness. Let everything that stand as dryness, let it be the verse in the name of Jesus. And I see somebody struggling to take care of his children. I don't know what happened, but you are left alone to care for your children. Hear me as I hear the Lord. By the power in the name of Jesus, anything that wants you to go dry in order for you not to be able to care for these children. By the power in the name of Jesus, I say, let that be reversed by fire. Let them be reversed by fire. Let them be reversed by fire. He read the lack of a shutter. He yagged the letter. Am I read the day? I recollect a Every dryness be reversed. Let them be reversed. They are not permitted to settle in your life. Anything called dryness at all. Hear me very well. Anything called dryness at all. It is not permitted to settle in your life and in your destiny. The Bible said the heart of a man. It said he planned his way. But the Lord established his steps. Hear me as I hear the Lord. Anything that you have planned in life. Receive the fruitfulness. Receive the establishment. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord establish your plans. I serve the Lord establish your plans. I serve the Lord establish your plans. I said the Lord establish a place. Rekalaba shanda liberata. Can somebody say goodbye to dryness? I see the heavens are open. There is a room for fruitfulness, and there is a not to go around. Lekaba shanda liberata. Rada lekaba suta. The Bible says in the book of Psalm, it said, "Delight yourself, delight yourself in the Lord." Ha, ah, child of God, he said. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. What are the desires of your heart? He said, When you delight yourself in the Lord, when you delight yourself to in the Lord, when you delight yourself in the Lord, yes, when you seek the Lord, when you serve the Lord, He said, He will give you the desires of your heart. What are the desires of your heart? But yet, you see, it's so dry by the power. In the name of Jesus, I say it is established now. In the name of Jesus, the desires of your heart, let it be established. Let it be established. Let it be established. Let it be established. In the mighty name of Jesus, I said the desires of your heart, the Lord is establishing it. No more dryness in the name of Jesus. I said no more dryness in the name of Jesus. is not permitted.
start to settle in your home. <laughs> the Bible says in the presence of God that is fullness of joy. In that place where you are, the presence of God is there. And the fullness of God must, the fullness, the joy of the Lord must be established in that place. I serve by the power in the name of Jesus. Receive the establishment of the desires of your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus. As the Lord lives and the Spirit of God is alive. I prophesy fruitfulness upon your land, upon your home. In the name of Jesus, it is time to say goodbye to dryness. As the Lord arises, let the Pharaoh in your life, let the begin to release you from that captivity. I said that Pharaoh in your life, I command them to release you by the power in the name of Jesus. Any Pharaoh that had you down in captivity, Pharaoh that keep you down in captivity, that don't want you to be free, that don't want you to express the joy of the Lord, by the power in the word of God, I command the Pharaoh to release you. Let the Pharaoh release you. Let the Pharaoh release you. Let the Pharaoh release you. What is that situation that have kept you in captivity, that have become a stubborn Pharaoh, by the power in the name of Jesus, I command the Pharaoh, let them release you now. In the name of Jesus, by the power in the name of Jesus, you are released from every Egyptian situation. Any kind of Egyptian situation, any kind of Egyptian situation, you are released from it in the name of Jesus. I say as the Lord arises, let the Pharaoh in your life let that begin to release you. And Moses said to Pharaoh, he said, let the people of God go. He said, let the people of God go. No matter how stubborn that situation is, by the power in the word of God, I said goodbye to that situation. For the Lord is bringing you out from it. You are coming out. No matter how stubborn Pharaoh was, no matter how hard in his heart was, it can come that he had to let the children of Israel go. No matter how stubborn that situation that you are in is, it is no more than God. Hear me as I hear the Lord. Every stubborn situation that stands as a Pharaoh in your life and in your destiny, by the power in the name of Jesus, let that begin to release you. I said, Pharaoh, let the people of God go. Oh, you sickness. Let this woman go. She's tired of medication. That is what I see. Let this sickness release this woman. She's tired of medication. Oh, you Pharaoh. That has turned as a stubborn sickness in the life of this woman. I say your time has expired by the power in the word of God. Release her and let her go. Release him and let him go. In the name of Jesus. And Moses sat of Pharaoh. And Moses sat of Pharaoh. In the book of Exodus chapter 5. Verse 1. The Bible says that Moses went of Pharaoh. He said, Thus says the Lord. He said, Thus says the Lord. Let my people go. Let my people go. I stand upon the word of God. Any situation that has become a stubborn Pharaoh in your life and in your destiny. At the sound of your amen, you are released from that situation. You are released from that situation. You you are released from that situation. You are released from that stubborn situation. In the name of Jesus, we are not about the whole you die. I say you are released. No more dryness. Move out from that captivity. Move out from that captivity. Move out from that captivity. In the name of Jesus. I'm a 
opportunity. It is time for you to move on. It is time for you to move forward. It is time for you to move forward. You are not permitted to return to a place of affliction. It is good, bad, or that spiritual dryness. I don't know who you are. Anyone under the sound of my voice that has been experiencing spiritual dryness. It seems as if your eyes are closed. You don't know what is going on. By the power in the name of Jesus, let your eyes be open. 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 In the name of Jesus, don't wait for me to call names. If I call names, we will stay here. We will stay here. We will not close. We will stay here. Every prophecy that you hear, anyone that connects, that concerns you, you grab it and you hold it. You grab it and you hold it. Don't allow it to go. Can everyone go on YouTube and like this word? Can we all go on YouTube and like the word of God? Can we all go on YouTube and like the word of God? I hear somebody said that word the moment I repeat it. He said, I will not return to a place of affliction. You are tired of that affliction. Hear me very well. The Lord said, I should tell you, you are not permitted to remain in the place of affliction. Neither are you permitted to get used to affliction. Neither are you permitted to manage affliction. Neither are you permitted to just be rubbing with a to just be living with affliction. By the power in the name of Jesus, you move out from the place of that affliction. I say it is goodbye to that place of affliction. It is goodbye to that place of Egypt. It is goodbye to that place of barrenness. It is goodbye to that place of captivity. By the power in the name of Jesus, I said the Lord release you from everything that stands as spiritual dryness. I prophesy spiritual fruitfulness, spiritual fruitfulness upon you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in a book, the Bible says in a book of that John, the Bible says that the will of God for you is to prosper, even as your soul prospereth. It is not just for you to prosper physically. Unless you see somebody, the attack that you have been through, it is even showing in your physical appearance. Today, the Lord opened my eyes. Unless you see somebody who has been passing through an attack, and this attack is even showing physically. Is even showing physically. Hear me as I hear the Lord. If you are that person and you are here, by the power in the name of Jesus, by the same power that raised Lazarus, I decree and I declare an end to that affliction, an end to that affliction, an end to that affliction. In the name of Jesus, at the sound of your amen, receive spiritual fruitfulness. The will of the Lord is for you to prosper, even as your soul prospered. The book of that John, chapter 1. Hallelujah. I speak and end to every dryness. Let it be spiritually. Let it be physically. In the name of Jesus, I say I speak and end to financial dryness. In the name of Jesus, I say goodbye to, to the spiritual dryness. In the name of Jesus, I say goodbye to the physical dryness. In the name of Jesus, I say goodbye to the financial dryness. In the name of Jesus, I say goodbye to the settlement dryness. In the name of Jesus, in every area of your life, begins to receive fruitfulness. I say begins to receive fruitfulness. Begins to receive fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus, you are released. You are released. I say again, you are released. I prophesy as an oracle of the Lord. Every stump of Pharaoh that I've had you down. You are released from their captivity. You are not permitted to remain in a place of affliction. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are released from that place of dryness.
dryness. No more dryness in your life. No more dryness in your life. I prophesy. You are released. Go and experience fruitfulness. Go and experience goodness and mercy. Go and experience wet. Go and experience peace of mind. Go and experience divine heart. In the name of Jesus, I said no more dryness. I said no more dryness. I said no more dryness. For the Lord have moved you out from the place of affliction. I said the Lord have moved you out. You are out from that place. 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 In the name of Jesus, I prophesy. I end to every affliction that brought division and confusion into your home. I speak an end to that affliction. And I speak an end to that affliction that brought poverty into your generation. In the name of Jesus, I say go and express fruitfulness. Dryness is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Can you quickly open to the Bible? Let's go to the book of Nehemiah. You have not liked that video, please go on and like that word. Like that word with us and share. Like that word with us and share. Yes, I see people sowing seed. It is goodbye to that sickness. It is goodbye to that affliction. The Lord bless everyone connecting with a seed. I see everyone. I see everyone connecting with a seed. The Lord bless you all abundantly. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. The book of Nehum, let's go to chapter 1. The book of Nehum from chapter 1, the Bible says, The burden of Nineveh, the book of the vision of Nehum, the echo sheet. He said, God is jealous and the Lord revenge. And he said, and the Lord revenge, the Lord revenge and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries. And he reserved rods for his enemies. Said so the Lord is slow to anger and great in power. And will not at all acquit the wicked. Hallelujah. He said the Lord has his way in the well wind, in the storm, and in the clouds at the dust of his feet. Hallelujah. The cloud that you see. The storm that you see, the well wind that you see. He said that the dust of his feet. How mighty is this God? How mighty it is God. The Bible says in the book of Nehemiah chapter 1 in verse 4. It says he rebuked the sea. He rebuked the sea and make it dry. And dry up all the rivers. Besham, Legwashit, and Kameh, the, fl the flower of Lebanon. In verse 5 it said the mountains quake at him. And the hills melt. What is that affliction? That will not met before God. He said the hills they met. He said the mountain quick. He quit before him. Hallelujah. In verse 6, he said, Who can stand before his indignation and who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. Hallelujah. He said, The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. He knows them that trust him. He know and then that trust him. Hallelujah. When the Lord says storm become and the storm become. When the Lord says mountain become plain, the mountain become plain. The Bible says with an overrunning flood. He will make an utter end of the place thereof, and darkness shall pursue his enemy. In verse 9, the Bible say, What do ye imagine against the Lord? He said, He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. Somebody hear me as I hear the Lord. The mountain quake before the Lord, and the storm bow before him. Everything that exists, that, that exists, they fear the Lord. Anything that stands as affliction in your life by the power in the name of Jesus, I speak and enter it in the name of Jesus. Anything that stands as dryness, anything that stands as dryness, it is rebuked from today in the name of Jesus. You are not permitted to return to a place of affliction. You are not permitted to return to a place of dryness. Somebody prophesied the word. I am not permitted to return to a place of dryness. I am not permitted to return to a place of dryness. I am not permitted to return to a place of affliction. The Lord has brought me out. I am pressing forward.
forward. I am pressing forward into a glorious testimony in the name of Jesus. I prophesy a glorious testimony upon every life under the sound of my voice that have come to seek the Lord. Receive that glorious testimony. Receive that glorious testimony. You are not permitted to return to a place of affliction. You are not permitted to return to a place of death. You are not permitted to return to a place of captivity. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Can you celebrate God? Can you celebrate God? I received that glorious testimony. I am not permitted to return to a place of affliction. Celebrate God. Celebrate God. Give God all that glory. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, oh God, for your word. Thank you, well, share of days. Yes, Lord. Affliction will not rise up again the second time in the life of these ones. They are not permitted to manage affliction. They are restored in the name of Jesus to a place of testimony, a glorious testimony, a glorious testimony, a glorious testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father, for removing dryness from the life of these ones. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We return all their glory. We celebrate God. Can you blow your trumpet? Somebody celebrate God. If you have not liked the word, go on and like the word. Can you share the word with us? Go on and like the word and the Lord bless you. As you do that in the mighty name of Jesus. You are sowing a seed. You are led to connect with a seed. Go on and sow the seed. Call your seed. My seed of glorious testimony. I am not permitted to return. All remain in the place of affliction. Yes, the Lord have moved me out. Call the seed, my seed, my seed of glorious testimony. God bless everyone that was sending a seed. The Lord bless every one of you. God sees us in the secret and reward in the open. And that God is rewarding your sacrifice in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are led to pay your tithe in this ministry. You are also led to partner with us. You can partner with us. You are led to pay your offering. You can do that as well. Willingly from your heart. The Bible says the Lord loves the cheerful giver. As you give cheerfully to the will of God. And God shall as well reward you with abundance in the name of Jesus. Can somebody celebrate God? If you are blessed in the house, just give God their glory. Just give God their glory. Give God all the adoration. Give God all the praise. Give God all the praise. Give God all the praise. God alone deserves all the praise. The Bible says it is not of he that will it, neither of he that run it. But it is of the Lord that showeth mercy. It is by the mercy of the Lord that we are able to push through. Can you just celebrate God? Can somebody join me to celebrate this God? Join me to celebrate this God. Join me to celebrate this God. He is a faithful God. Join me to celebrate this God. His blessings, his, his glory, he shall with no man. His glory, he shall with no man. Thank you, worship of this. We celebrate you. We celebrate you. We celebrate you, Lord. Take all their glory. For in Jesus' precious name, you are under the sound of my voice. You are connected somebody to hate. That person that you are connecting to hurt, whatever that person is, I bring that person under the umbrella of the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Psalm, say he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I pray they abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Every sickness that is meant to kill anyone under the sound of my voice, it is reversed back to hell in the name of Jesus. You are healed by the Lord. You are healed by the Lord. You are not permitted to remain in the place of sickness. The Lord move you out from that place of sickness. Give you divine health in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. We give God the glory for healing. For in Jesus' precious name. You are under the sound of my voice. You are not born again. Please come to the other side. A life without God is hardly a life at all. What shall it profit us if we gain the whole world and we lose our soul? Even if you are born again, child of God, 
always remember to put your salvation in check. That is the most important thing that we have in this journey. Even if God is giving us silver, he's giving us gold, he's giving us wealth, he's giving us marriage, he's giving us cars, home. The most important thing that we have is our salvation. And that salvation is what the enemy is fighting to take. Child of God, you must put your salvation in check. It is very important. Even if you think you are a pastor, no man, no man. No one is above falling. The Bible says, let he that thinketh his time take heed, lest he fall. That is why we must observe our salvation. I want you to say this word after me, Lord Jesus. I come before you today as a sinner. Accept me just as I am, Lord. <laughs> Forgive me my sins. Erase my name from the book of death. And write my name in the book of life. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior from today. Come into my heart. Dwell with me, Lord. Help me to serve you and help me to know you. I believe that you died on the cross of Calvary. On the third day you were risen. You sit at the right hand of God the Father. I decree and I declare that from today. I am born again. I am a child of God. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. If you pray that prayer, I pray for you. The grace to run the race and win the crown. Let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Receive the grace to run the race. On this earth, you shall be successful. On the last day, you shall make heaven. In the name of Jesus, on the last day, your name shall not be found missing in the book of life. For in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Everyone that planted a seed in this session, God bless every one of you. I pray for you. God knows where you brought out that finances. He knows where you brought out that money. He is the one that see it in the secret and he reward in the open. I pray the Lord reward you with abundance in the name of Jesus. You have planted a seed before God and that seed will not die. Let the Lord water that seed in the name of Jesus. I say through that seed. As let that seed bring an end to every financial dryness in your life in the name of Jesus. You have sown a seed. Reap in, a, reap in thousands. Reap in hundreds. Reap in abundance through that which you are planted in the name of Jesus. I pray your seed will not die. Your seed will not die. It multiply back to you in millions in the name of Jesus. The desires of your heart are granted. Through that seed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless everyone that came to this prayer session. God bless everyone that liked the video that shared. God bless you all. I love you all. God bless you. I pray for you. Goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. And you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. I pray for you in guidance. The Lord is guiding you. In protection, the Lord is protecting you. In preservation, the Lord is preserving you. I pray for you, child of God. No weapon form a fashion against you that will prosper. I pray for you. Everything that stands as counter-attack, it is rebuked in the name of Jesus. We rebuke counter-attack. Counter-attacks are rebuked in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. You're going out, you are blessed. You're coming home, you are blessed. For in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Can you say to yourself, my head is blessed? My hands are blessed. My feet are blessed. Everything about me is blessed. I am the Lord's anointed. My head and my glory are not for sin. You are the anointed of the Lord. The enemy will not buy your head. They will not buy your glory. God bless you. I love you. I love you. God bless you.